This moment of the Seder is dedicated to ritual hand washing. Ritual hand washing at this moment of the Seder is not typically accompanied by a blessing. So much of what we do is accompanied by a blessing, but this is a holdover from the temple period, from the first, era, uh, first century of the common era, where actually the ritual purification of our hands is what our ancestors did before they ate anything. And we, at this moment, wash our hands because we are preparing to eat the greens at first. Then we'll eat all of the other symbols on our Seder plate. And you can do this with a cup and a bowl at your table. You can go to the sink, as I've done at this moment, with any type of cup. And you put your water over your hands one, two, three, four, two on each side. You don't need to say a blessing and you return to the Seder and potentially to the table. I think at this time we're really highly aware of how hand washing is safe and healthy. We take that idea with us during the Seder to this moment where we recognize that by purifying our hands we are coming closer to safety, health, and God.